In this video, we will share our top 10 favorite things about the Disney Olani Resort in Oahu, Hawaii. So if you're thinking about going to Olani or just want to know what it's like, come along with us as we share what you must do on this bucket list dream vacation. At the end of this video, we'll share some tips to help you save money and make the most out of your trip to Olani. To start things off, without a doubt, our favorite thing about Olani is the resort. This beachside hotel in Koalina on the west side of Oahu is absolutely remarkable. From the moment you walk into the lobby, to the backdrop at check-in, to your views from the main lobby lanai, you know this place is magical. Filled with intricate details of wood and other natural materials, Olani looks and feels like a special place. This 21-acre resort is filled with menehune carvings throughout and plenty of hidden mickeys for those who like to hunt for surprises. Even the drive up to the resort is absolutely stunning with all the lush and well-maintained landscaping, water features, and greenery. In our opinion, the resort is absolutely perfect. Walt Disney Imagineers worked hand in hand with local artisans and cultural experts to create Olani, inspired by the natural wonders and rich traditions of Hawaii, celebrating the beauty, history, and welcoming spirit of the island. There is a touch of Disney throughout, but more on that later in this video. Next up on our list is all the pools, water slides, and spas. And while we packed this video into a top 10 format, there are so many details we can't wait to share with you about Alani. The main pool is Waikolohe, which means mischievous water. It has whimsical features that live up to its name, including an interactive experience with the Menehune Trail iPad Adventure, access to the volcanic vertical water slide, poolside parties, and storytelling. This 8,200 square foot zero entry pool is the focal piece of the main lounging area on the resort. With close access to the lava shack for pool items, Mama Snack Shop for quick serve options, and Shave Ice for a fan favorite dessert. The Kamaka Grotto Spa is one of five Whirlpool spas, two reserved for ages 18 plus at Alohi Point. But the grotto has sweeping ocean views and majestic landscaping and hardscaping with beautiful night lighting. It's also adjacent to a saltwater pool with an infinity edge. There are two rapid adventures, or water slides as we like to call them. The first is the Volcanic Vertical. It's an enclosed extreme body slide that plunges you into the main pool. The second is Tube Stone Curl. Are you ready? This is fast. This is fast. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Ritz, what do you think? Do you want to go again? The hardscaping offers several hidden features Disney creatively carved and formed in several animals to look at including giant lizards and sharks. The lazy river carries you through Waikolohe Valley, designed with natural rock formations and inspired by Oahu. It takes around 10 minutes to go through and is fun for the whole family. I'm vlogging it. Welcome to family pool. Do they want the lazy river? You can often spot Disney characters while on the lazy river and could float an afternoon or early evening away. This was our family's favorite activity and part of our daily routine. The Menehune Bridge is a great area for little ones that includes two slides, a play structure, and of course the magical little people of Hawaii. Our kids loved this area and the name can be misleading as it's way more than a bridge. Keep in mind that the maximum height in this area is 48 inches and you cannot avoid getting wet or soaked watching or engaging with your little ones while here. There is also Wailana Pool, neatly tucked away at the back of the resort we have seen used for wedding parties. Rounding out our favorite water experience is Keiki Cove Splash Zone, an interactive splash area primarily for young kids with skirting jets and rainbow reef and extra charged snorkeling activity. This 3,800 square foot saltwater lagoon is the only one of its kind in Oahu. For those that enjoy this activity, you can pay a higher fee to enjoy unlimited access for the duration of your stay. You can also watch the cleaners from the main pathway and learn about the fish from posted signs, which we love to do. Our family loved cycling through these areas throughout the day as they all provide a slightly different experience. We also liked guessing what wristband color we would get every morning and love the sound of the room key activating at the towel stations. Disney uses daily wristbands to confirm you are a guest at Olani while on the property. They typically cycle through two weeks of colors and we enjoyed collecting them. Number three on our list was spotting and meeting Disney characters throughout the resort. You're prepared. Oh, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> 
On our trip, we were lucky enough to meet Goofy, Duffy, Stitch, Max, Moana, Mickey, Minnie, Shelly Mae, and Donald. Common locations include the Halloway Lawn, where the luau and movie nights are hosted, and the bridge and walkways at the start of the resort grounds. Character interactions are also available at the Makahiki restaurant. Olani was built to respect and honor the local Hawaii tradition, culture, and environment, and there is only a touch of Disney at the resort. Traditional Disney experiences are most notable in the merchandise and select character interactions. But you can also spend an entire vacation here without really experiencing any traditional Disney, and we love that. We'd add to this list interacting with the performers from the luau before and after the show as we really enjoyed this experience. A trip to Hawaii isn't complete without an amazing beach experience. Next up on our list is the beach. Olani is built in Koalina on Lagoon 1, otherwise known as Hohola Lagoon. This beach ranks in the top three beaches of all of Oahu and for good reason. Koalina Lagoon 1 is a beautiful lagoon sheltering swimmers and bathers from the harsh ocean and is one of the four crescent-shaped beach lagoons. In this location, you will find people snorkeling, suntanning, bathing, building sandcastles, riding a catamaran, boogie boarding, and more. Our kids love loved playing on this beach early in the morning to capture extra sunlight hours as the grounds of Olani are covered in shade until mid-morning. Our typical routine would be to come out to this location and eat French toast from Ulu Cafe, our single favorite menu item at the resort, and play until the sun peaked over the Olani Towers and we would pivot to the water slides in Lazy River. Next up on our list is the animal encounters. During our trip to Olani, we encountered sea turtles, monk seals, mongoose, crabs, jellyfish, koi fish, tropical fish, cats, and lizards. While some encounters were more exhilarating than others, we definitely had our favorites. Is that Mongo? Yep. Hey, he's right there. I got it. He's just standing around. Cute but alarming, we would spot them daily on our vacation. We also encountered three Hawaiian monk seals on the walking path north of Ulani past the Four Seasons. Back at Ulani, we encountered cats and lizards on the walking path. Oh my, humongous. He's so pretty. Is that Keith Thank you, Yes. And koi fish near the Makahiki restaurant. On the beach, there were many jellyfish. Warning signs are up, and on days and nights with rough waters, we would typically find up to 20 jellyfish washed up on shore in the morning. Upon advising the lifeguards and hospitality staff at either Four Seasons or Alani, they would complete a cleanup of the beach. Sea turtles are almost a guarantee at Paradise Cove Public Beach, a short six minute walk north of Alani. Here we encountered four sea turtles along with many other spectators in an unforgettable afternoon. Note that Paradise Cove does not have any public restrooms so plan your adventure accordingly. That was so cool. Next on our list are the resort activities. Ulani caters to families and has a lot of activities throughout the day and evening, such as an interactive Manihuni Adventure Trail scavenger hunt, which brings the resort to life. Ohana movie nights are typically offered a few times a week and the Ulani app gave us a two week look ahead on the dates and specific movies. We love grabbing a pizza from Ulu Cafe and a few popcorn buckets on our way to movie night. A Disney cast member would also host family trivia before each movie. The movie choices were typically suitable for the youngest of travelers and expect a mix of new and classic G rated Disney movies. Something we enjoyed at Ulani was the Disney's family fun animation drawing, a limited seating program that is run twice a night on select days of the week. It's led by an animator or cast member and they teach you how to draw classic Disney characters. Everyone in our family love these experiences. One of the best activities at Ulani is the included Auntie's Beach House Kids program. To take part in this free service, you must register your little ones aged 3 to 12 when you arrive and pay a refundable deposit on a wristband. Prior to going to the resort, you can reserve time slots for your children in 90 minute increments and you're able to reserve as many as you want in the mornings. Next up on our list is the Ka Wa'a Luau. Disney Ulani offers an unforgettable experience for the whole family. Pre-dinner activities include tattoo and lane making with the performers and a professional photo opportunity. With an incredible buffet dinner, open bar, and dinner boxes for the little ones, there's sure to be something for everyone. The entertainment was immersive and fantastic as you're guided through the rich history of Hawaii. Post show, the performers stay around for a meet and greet photo op. Dulewa does book up well in advance of your trip, so we recommend booking it as soon as you book your hotel. It is hosted by Olani's long-standing partner, Pleasant Activities, and the time of booking, we spent over $800 to attend this evening activity, but we still felt it was worth it. 
Next up on our list is the beautiful sunsets. Our favorite way to end each day at Ulani was to come down to the Koalina Lagoon Beach and watch the sunset. This perfect beach provides a beautiful vantage point to enjoy each night. It's definitely one of our favorite parts of staying in Ulani and something we made part of our daily routine. Sunset views provide a great way to unwind and close out an amazing day at the resort. Whether that is playing in the water or enjoying a quick serve meal, it's quite popular among travelers to sit and enjoy the sunset, so don't expect unobstructed views. We also completed a Disney Sunset Mini Portrait Session, which was $275 for 20 minutes. Our photographer was amazing and the mobile light stand really added to the quality. Myra, look over here, buddy. Myra. Look at the circle. Very good. Next on our list was our one bedroom villa. These 750 plus square foot rooms have a well equipped kitchen with full size appliances including a fridge and freezer with ice maker, stove, dishwasher, washer and dryer. There's a full set of utensils, dishes, consumables and a rice cooker. The kitchen table fit our family of six and we typically use the kitchen for one to two meals a day to save and eat a bit healthier. Thanks Target. We made use of our washer and dryer to bring less clothes. A jetted tub and sink area is separated by a privacy door to the bathroom with shower and toilet. The wood finishes are superb and we love the wooden mickey lamp which is available for purchase at Kalipa store in the lobby our villa had a king bed in the master bedroom the most comfortable queen sleeper sofa we have ever slept on and a pull down narrow twin bed below the living room television the generous size lanai was great for taking a morning sunrise or evening cocktail disney also offers regular rooms one and two bedroom suites and two and three bedroom villas the disney ulani website has great overviews of the rooms and layouts as well as pricing and availability and while ulani is an expensive resort stay tuned to the end of this video for ways to save money next up on our list is the convenient casual dining. Quick and easy meal options are a must have for young families on vacation and Ulani knows this. There are quick serve dining, takeout and sit down meal options throughout the resort for all budgets and tastes. And for those that want more variety across the street at Koalina Center there are several options including Monkey Pod and American Cuisine, Makiko Cantina that serves Mexican, Starbucks and Ice Cream Shop, Island Country Market and more. Back at Ulani the main quick serve option is Ulu Cafe which was our favorite place to grab to-go salads, fruit bowls, french toast for breakfast and pizza for dinner which to us was the best overall value of food on the resort. Quick serve options in the pool area include Mama Snack Shop that offers chicken fingers, hot dog bites, fish and chips and more, and Pupula Shave Ice offers an amazing dessert. The Olilo Room offers American and Hawaiian cuisine and a wide cocktail menu. Sit down options include Ama Ama, a four course fine dining, fixed price dinner menu overlooking Koalina's Lagoon, and Makahiki, the location of the character breakfast as well as dinner options that include American, Hawaiian and seafood cuisine. Both locations offer plenty of live music. Rounding out these options is off the hook which also offers mobile ordering adjacent to the main pool. On top of these dining options we also use the refillable popcorn and soda cups. Fillable soda was available throughout the resort and self-serve freestyle machines. On top of soda you get sports drinks, sparkling and still water. It's no secret that Disney Orlando is a premium experience. When you combine the Disney brand with the exclusivity, demand and high cost of Hawaii, it's a recipe for an expensive trip and making the most of your trip while saving money where you can is so important. While the rest of this video was about making the most of the trip, this section is about saving money to make your dream a reality. The number one great way to save money is to book during the low season and or watch the Disney Orlando website for sales. Disney Orlando frequently offers promotions for winter stays, spring and summer stays of 3 or 5 days or more, a mail to promotion and Disney Visa card member discount. We save 30% on our accommodation and many discounts are 20% or more. If you've gotten this far, it would really help if you gave this video a big thumbs up. It'll tell us to make more of this type of content and help more people get the same value you have. The next tip is to get the Disney Ulani app and even get comfortable with it before your vacation. Disney offers a lot of free activities throughout the day and night and planning your day around the offerings will help you get the most of your short time here. You'll find out what movies are on, when free events like family fun animation are hosted, where character meets are and more. Ulani offers free boogie board and beach toy rentals from Makiki Joe's Beach rentals. You sign them out with your room key but they provided fun for our family for two days on our trip for an entire morning. Another way to save money is to do food delivery or stop at the local Costco, Target or Walmart and take advantage of the on-site barbecues or kitchen suites if you book one of them. On top of that Disney has refillable soda cups for a one-time fee which pays for itself quickly and popcorn buckets with a $2 refill charge perfect for movie nights or to take in the sunset. To save time during your stay hit up the water slide and tube slide early in the days while the lines are short. It takes until mid to late morning for the sun to come over the Lani Hotel and light up the resort pool area. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're all about inspiring the next generation of families to have fun together, so consider subscribing to see more of our content. And here's a video YouTube thinks you want to watch next.